Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 210 of Java for Tester series. That is extending classes and implementing interfaces together. So a class in Java can extend classes and implement interfaces together, guys. Okay, this is possible in Java. A class can at the same time extend classes and implement interfaces. So let me practically show you how this is possible. Okay, how this is possible. For that, let me create a new class. I'll call this class as class X. Finish. Inside this class, I'll create a sample method saying public void uh, method X. I'll write a sample print statement saying system.out.println inside method x of class x like this okay fine now i have created a class i'll create some interfaces say interface interface y finish you can give any name guys i'm just giving interface y here so here i will say interface y i will create some sample method inside the interface void method y without any body now i'll create another interface say interface z click on finish click on finish uh, i'll move this side so that uh, i can okay inside this interface i will create a method also some sample method say method z so now i have one class and two interfaces right class x interface y interface z now i'll create another class i'll name this class as some class a finish i'll drag it down here i want this particular class to extend this class and implement this interfaces so the same class has to extend this class and implement this interfaces so how to do that how to extend a class guys how to make this uh, class a a child class of this class x using the extends keyword I, I can say class a extends class x this is possible right class a is extending class x class a is inheriting class x class a is a child class of the class x parent class at the same time i want to implement this interfaces also by this class i i want this particular class a to implement this interfaces also so how to do that i have to use a keyword known as implements extends class x implements interface y comma interface z okay a class can implement multiple interfaces so that's possible so when i do so i am getting a compiler error saying that i have to implement all these methods of these interfaces so hover the mouse on this class a and select add and implemented methods so method z method y of the interfaces have fall in place here method x is being inherited by class a at same time the unimplemented methods of this interface has to be implemented in this class a because class a is implementing these interfaces so inside this method i will write down some sample print statement saying inside method z here also i'll write down the same thing saying inside method y so to see everything is working or not i'll create a demo class some demo class with the main method inside that so i will drag this uh, demo class here okay inside this demo class inside this demo class i'll create an object for this class a and try to access this inherited method and this uh, uh, implemented methods of this abstract methods of the interfaces okay so uh, class a a is equal to new class a like this if i say a dot a dot method x i can say a dot method x because class a is the child class of the class a Cl uh, class a is the child class of the class x that means the method that is there in the class X is now part of the class A because class A is inheriting the properties of the class X. So if I say A dot, I can say A dot method X, right? Using the child class object, I can access the parent class method. So A dot, A dot uh, method X, which is inherited by the child class is being accessed using the object reference of the child class. Fine, in the same way, I can say A dot method Y because this method Y is the abstract method of the interface which is implemented in the class a okay class a is implementing the 
interface y so its method has to be implemented in the class a so using the object reference of the child class i can access that method and similarly method z like this guys okay so when i run this demo.java all the methods will be accessed and printed okay all the methods will be accessed and executed and printed inside method x of class y inside method y inside method z like this guys so guys this how we can extend classes and implement interfaces at the same time a class in java can extend a class and at same time implement another interfaces at the same time guys so that's it guys this is all about the interfaces in the next video session i'll explain about the abstract classes in java so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye